deep fried Mars bars and <laughs> <laughs> they all ginger they all play the bagpipes <laughs> Some of them did in, in real life. <laughs> mean. Mean. Yeah, but that's I don't think wrong. that's true. That's wrong. And that they have a lot, lot of drunks. I know. A lot, lot of a lot of jokes were about exactly drunk. Avoid people from Glasgow. Potentially, when you first meet them, they seem a bit grumpy, or you feel like, oh no, have I said something? But then you get chatting, and it's yeah, like, yeah. oh no, yes. they're lovely and they're good yeah. fun. They're stereotyped as quite aggressive. I had one guy holding me by my tie trying to throttle me when two of my mates came on and got rid of him. I've always wanted to know what's under a kilt. That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, welcome to a new episode of Easy English. So today I'm on Brighton Beach and I am to know what the British people think of the Scots. I want to hear their first-hand experiences being in Scotland, meeting Scottish people, and also what stereotypes, true or false, that they've heard. But first, I wanted to play a game to see if the people of Brighton could guess these famous Scottish celebrities and see if they can figure out that it's their Scottish nationality that connects them all. Before we get started, if you're a fan of Easy English, then why don't you quickly subscribe below. Here we go. Okay, so... She looks like she'd be an actress, but I don't know who she is. Who is the first person on that? She's a witch, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> who is that? I think she's an actor. I don't know who that is, that one. I think she's an actress. The one that's is, Tilda Swinton. That's the one, Tilda Swinton. I and it. who is Tilda Swinton? She's an actress. She's been in, like, yes, Doctor Strange, Curious Case Line of Benjamin Button. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, second picture is Lewis Capaldi. He's a okay. singer. Is he that singer? He is a singer. Um, Capaldi. Yeah. yeah. Lewis Capaldi. Lewis Capaldi, yes. Lewis Capaldi. Okay, and who is Lewis Capaldi? He's a singer. Okay. He's just had a documentary come out that was very good. That's Lewis That's... Capaldi. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a singer. singer. Go on, Dad, what's he sing? He sings songs. <laughs> yeah. No way, really? <laughs> he does. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. The next one, I think, that's Lewis Capaldi. Yeah, and who's Lewis Capaldi? He's a singer. Correct. And a songwriter. She was the Scottish minister. What's her name, Kevin? Forget now. Um, third photo. I have no clue who that is. And that's Nicola Sturgeon, isn't oh, well, it? I'm okay so she that. was the leader of the SNP. Okay. Rather in disgrace at the moment. And what's the SNP? The Scottish, Scottish National, National Party. Party. Is that Nicola, oh, Sturgeon? Nicola Sturgeon? It is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Recently leader of the SNP. And not anymore. <laughs> and under arrest. And not under arrest. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, trying to find six hundred thousand pounds. Nicola Sturgeon. Yeah, I have no clue who this guy is. <laughs> Oh, you know who that is. That's, um, what's his name, comedian? Yeah. Bill something? This guy is called... Is he called Bill something? Yeah. Bill... Billy. Billy... Billy Connolly? Yes, Billy Connolly. Scottish, Scottish comedian. comedian. Yeah. 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 Yes. And then we have Billy Colony, who is a comedian, writer, actor. No idea. It's giving like football manager. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. So, yeah. Oh, he's a footballer. No, manager. He's, a manager. he's a manager. <laughs> Gosh, I'm terrible at this. It's the uh, Alex Ferguson. Very he good. was the manager oh. of oh, Manchester man, United. Man, you... Oh my goodness, it was his name. Uh oh. Oh, it's gone out of my head. Oh no. Yes, yes. Come on, you're doing so yes. well. Yeah. yeah. What's his um, name? Alex is Ferguson. He's... Well, ah. Oh. Come on, yeah, Dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aren't it awful? I can't think of who their name is. That's a tennis, tennis player. Okay. Anything about him? Other than being a tennis player? He's got several children. <laughs> <laughs> his mum's very good. <laughs> What's good. his name? Oh, how stupid is this? Scottish, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he is Scottish. Oh, Andy, Andy Murray. Murray. Easy uh, tennis just one player. Nottingham. He did. Uh, Andy Murray. Oh. Very good. Who won Wimbledon. Okay, and who, who's the next one? Uh, Andy Murray, tennis Andy Murray. player. Yeah. Andy Murray? Yeah. And I don't actually know who this guy is either. No idea. It's an older gentleman. Um, Go on, Dad, think of all these oh, history books you've read. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Scottish inventor. An inventor or Scottish. Exactly. You're, you're on the right but track. I, yes, but I can't think of any Scottish. Um, well, you've got Yogi Bird, was he Scottish? Or Alexander Graham Bell? There was you go. Bell, oh, yeah. He was Scottish, was he? It's Graham Bell. <laughs> Bang on. Is it Bell? It is Bell. Well oh, done. Oh, That's God. a tough one as well. Okay, those are all of them. 
can you think what what connects them all? They all have a, a connection. You mentioned it actually a couple of times. Famous. <laughs> <laughs> They've all got beard. No, Nicola Sturgeon doesn't got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that was the connection. <laughs> They're all connected in a... Scottish. They're all Scottish. Are they all Scottish? They're all Scottish oh, people. Okay. So tell me then, it's pretty obvious, I think you got it a few times, what connects all these people? They're Scottish. Yeah, they, <laughs> <laughs> they are all Scottish. What is the big connection of all of them? They all share one thing in common. Well, I thought you were going to say they're Scottish. Yeah. They are all Scottish. If you're looking to improve your speaking or listening English skills, then you could consider becoming a member of Easy English with the link up here. We'd like to invite you to join our new conversation membership where you get to join myself and Easy and other members in our online Zoom pub. We'll meet every Tuesday for an hour to discuss life, work, pets, music, hobbies and all other kinds of subjects. There you'll also be able to break off and meet other members who want to improve their English like yourself. So bring your favourite drink and join us in the Easy English online pub for our new conversation membership. Now back to the episode. Do, do you have any friends that are Scottish? Do you know anyone Scottish? I'm anyone? Scottish descent. Really? Yeah, my mother was a MacLeod. This is a MacLeod? Yeah. What, is Macle does that come, what does that come from, MacLeod? Like I think they come from the... Um, is it a region? Loch Lomond area. Okay. Not sure where that is. Have you been to Scotland? Sadly, no. I've been up there. I worked up there for a couple of months, Aberdeen. And what, how did, what were the people like, the Scottish people? Well, back in the time when I went up there, it was in the early 70s, um, men were men and women were kept it hidden. Right, I see. You, yeah. It's the other way around now. <laughs> so, if you went to a pub, if you went to a pub like I did with, with the guys I work with, yeah. um, you didn't see women. Really? No, no. Well, I went on a holiday to Scotland okay. several years running up to um, Aviemore and Ethy Bridge and up in the Highlands and loved all of that. So mm. I've got friends up in Scotland and um, yeah, good friends down here. Um, June and Alec. Yeah, that's who I thought so, was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. he's a Scottish, yes. Scottish peeps. Do you know any Scottish people? Have you been to Scotland? I've never been to Scotland, no. Okay. I think I... This, there's this one girl that was Scottish in my primary school. That's oh, yeah? about it. Yeah. yeah that's... And what, what was she like? She was she's quite a jolly girl, yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay. And do you d have desires to go to Scotland at some point, maybe? I don't think so, maybe. <laughs> we'll yeah. have to see. Ooh, they're friendly, but also, yeah. like, potentially when you first meet them, they seem a bit grumpy or you feel like, oh, no, have I said something? But then you get chatting and it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, no, yes. they're lovely and they're good yeah. fun and yeah. good crack. What are your... Th Opinions on Scottish people? Do you know any Scottish people? Have you yeah. been to Scotland? Yes, yes, yes. I've only been to Scotland once. That was for a long weekend in, in Edinburgh. Okay. I do have Scottish Good friends. friends who Good like. friends when you make a friendship. Yeah? Yes. I served in the RAF with a lot of Scot. Well, a Scotch guy was my best mate. Oh, yeah? So they're loyal, maybe, or something? Oh, always reliable. Reliable. Mm. That's a nice And one. always there when you're in a pub. <laughs> I had one guy holding me by my tie, trying to throttle me when two of my mates came on and got rid of him. Like, I couldn't move when he was... <laughs> no. In Bristol, that was... What stereotypes are there you, that you know of? Oh, that maybe yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, deep, deep fried Mars bars. And... <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's yeah. the Celtic. <laughs> Yeah, it's Celtic Kilt. culture. Yeah, yeah. Like kind of like pride? Or? Yeah, yeah, yes. they've got a real Celtic pride. What stereotypes had you heard of before you went or what stereotypes are there now, which, true or untrue, I guess, of the Scots? They're all ginger. They all play the bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some of them did in, in real life. Yeah. Um, sometimes I feel like they're stereotyped as quite aggressive right like, yeah yeah firm tone of voice mm. and um yeah just like passionate about things okay like they call a spade a spade kind of straight talking yeah what stereotypes do you know or had you heard of before you made friends with a scotland apart <laughs> <laughs> and are they true untrue what ones do you get to hear from uh, media I rumors? mean 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 yeah but that's i don't think wrong. that's true that's wrong and that they're a lot, lot of drunks. I know, a lot, lot of, of a lot of jokes were about like, drunks. Avoid people from Glasgow. Yeah, Rubbish. but that's that's not true either. I've heard that one too. The Glasgow's mm. rough. 
That's no. right. But Billy Connolly's from Glasgow now. Yeah, they're, they're no rougher than anyone else on a Saturday night. Is there anything that's primarily Scottish that would improve English life, English culture, English people? Yes. No. I don't know, deep five miles back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Gosh, you can tell what's on your mind, can't we? <laughs> what would you take from Scottish tradition, culture, anything that you think would improve like England or English tradition, English culture? Kilts? Kilts, maybe, yeah. Well, it depends what's under them. <laughs> um, I don't know if they're more family-minded than us. I think the directness is a good thing right. sometimes. I think, I mean, the stereotype of the English is that we don't really say what we think. We're too polite and right. uh, sometimes you just need to say how it is. I love music, so from a music okay. point of view... I think I love Celtic folk and all of that stuff. So I think if that was more in England, I'd love that. Okay. That kind of like national unity of like, this is our music. Whereas I think England's Good so... Good answer. Yeah, just like culturally yeah. blended, which is amazing. But it also means, I don't know whether I could tell someone what our English kind of musical yes, identity yeah, yeah, is. So, yeah, yeah, that would probably be what I would say. Yeah. From what you know, what would you take from kind of Scottish culture, tradition or character traits that would kind of improve English people or Welsh people maybe? Yeah. <laughs> or Welsh tradition? Um, some, of their, some of their writing is, is first class. Mm -hmm. right? That's a great answer. Yeah, folk yeah. music. From Burns. Oh, well, yes, Robert Burns. Yeah, I mean, Burns with poems and, and whatever, but mm. so, I mean, some of the stories that have been told and, you know, definitely story, you know, liter literature then. That's great. I like that answer yeah. a lot. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Let us know in the comments below your experience meeting Scottish people or being in Scotland and any stereotypes that you might have heard, true or false. And as always, we'll see you next week. Ta-ra!